everyone, this is Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. Today I'm sharing the very first of my dollar store DIY challenge videos and I'm doing some dollar store DIYing in the kitchen. If you have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future DIY and renovation videos. I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee because I've been procrastinating on this project for about two hours now. <laughs> it's not because I don't like dollar store projects. I love sharing dollar store DIYs and transforming dollar store pieces. What I don't love is cleaning. When you see under my sink and how messy it is, you will understand why I avoided working on this today. Here are some of the dollar store items that I'm going to be using in today's video. But first, let me tell you about our co-host and our open invite for you to join our dollar store DIY challenges. Today, my friend Colleen is joining me as a co-host for this dollar store DIY challenge. Colleen shares my love of transforming dollar store pieces into functional, beautiful decor. And she has shared some awesome projects on her channel. Together, we are hosting this challenge to share some of our own projects, but also see what you guys have to share. This video is also an open invite for you guys. I want you guys to participate in our next dollar store DIY videos. If you want to join, all you have to do is upload a video showing how you transformed or used your dollar store products. We want to see dollar store DIY challenge in the title and please mention Colleen and myself in your video and try to put a link to both of our channels as well as the DIY dollar store playlist in your description box below the video. On the dates listed below, our playlists will go live between 6 and 9 a.m. on this channel. You can link up your videos and follow along with other people's projects and see what people did with their dollar store DIY items. If you want to join, your project does not have to be seasonal. Even though it's the fall playlist, you can put anything on there as long as it's a dollar store project. Okay, let's dive into this. Last time I did a kitchen organization video, you guys mentioned that you wanted some help organizing that space under the sink, and obviously I need some help in that area too. So here's what it looks like under my sink now, and I'm going to get this space organized with dollar store supplies. So this is what I was talking about. It's not filthy, but it is cluttered. It's not organized. I'm going to take all this out to start, see what actually needs to stay in this space and see what I can move or get rid of, and then we're gonna organize everything. It's a dress. Once everything was clean, I used a dollar store under the sink mat and measured and cut it down to size to fit under the sink space. It's not square. <laughs> Look at this line. It's not square. I said a tape measure was maybe a good idea. Oh, uh, you said, you said. <laughs> I thought the lines would be straight or square. The cabinet's square. <laughs> Once I had that mat down, the first thing I wanted to do was organize some of the little things in this space. I actually found this car seat organizer at the dollar store and I thought this would be the perfect hack for this space. I used the Kleenex part of it to hold all of our plastic bags nice and snug and then I cut off any excess pieces and knew that I could use the pockets to hold all of the loose things under the sink. So I got a drill and some screws and drilled right through this felt car piece into the side of the cupboard so that I could hold everything upright and take up as little space as possible under the sink. I love the idea of having the garbage more accessible than in the box, but, so I bought one of these from the dollar store, but this look, I don't love. I don't like the look of having these out. So I'm going to try to engineer something to hang it down here. Um, maybe like on the other side of my cabinet here. So 
See if we can find a nicer way to hang these. For this dollar store hack, I decided to buy a plunger and take the rubber part off the bottom and then to buy some hooks from the dollar store that I could use to hang that wooden plunger up. The hooks aren't quite wide enough for the wooden dowel, so you can use pliers or vice grips to stretch the hook open a little bit so that the dowel sits in it nicely. Once your hooks are ready, you can put them into the side of the cabinet, put the dowel right into the hooks, and hang your basket on the dowel. You can cut your dowel down to size, but ours was just going to be sticking into the back of the cabinet, so we left it the same size. Finally, I used some dollar store baskets to organize all of the vases and things that I reach for less often in the back, and then all of the cleaning supplies in the front. These are more dollar store hacks than DIYs, but I'm really happy with how organized this space feels now after only spending a few dollars at the dollar store. The car mat is so functional in here. I love how it stores everything. And honestly, the space just finally looks nice. There's lots of extra space if I have to put any of those Costco sized containers back in for storage, but I'm really happy with how accessible all these bags are now. And I'm happy that they're not hanging on my door. The biggest issue we've had with this cabinet is the organization of all the pots and lids and pans and lids. So we're looking for a way, a dollar store solution to all of our lid issues. And we came across these dish racks from the Dollar Tree and we figured that we could actually morph them into pot holders. So what we're doing is bending this part up and creating this. <laughs> We're going to take the cable clamps, hook them to the edge, and screw them to the side of the cabinet so that we can hold some of our lids upwards like this. So this is how I did it. I literally just pushed on it with my hand. You have to be careful because these could potentially bend and break right off. But if you just do it once and bend it all the way up, it should be strong enough to hold in place. And ours so far has been working really, really well. Bending them upwards just naturally puts them at the perfect angle for pot lids. You don't actually have to get inside your cupboard to install them, but my husband wanted to. So while I sorted out which pots we were keeping and which ones we were donating, my husband used cable clips and drilled them right over top of the sides of the wire dish rack until they were secured in place on the side of the cabinet. Unfortunately, the really large lids for our frying pans and wok didn't fit in that rack, but we still wanted to organize those lids, so we decided to hang a few hooks on the other side that the lids could easily slide into. I would definitely say that these two cupboards were our least organized spaces in the kitchen before, and I'm really happy to have some proper organization in here now. I love these lid racks and I think you could easily put them on the inside of the door that you pull open as well and they would work just perfectly. The lids on the other side in the hooks work really well too. They sit in the hooks really nicely. The whole space is decluttered and organized now and I'm so happy that it's so much easier to get things out of this cupboard. A couple of those dollar store ideas were hacks and I wanted to make sure to get a good DIY in here for you guys. So I decided to DIY a new container for all of our utensils. As you can see, ours was pretty worn out, but I found this glass container at the dollar store, which was the perfect size. It just needed some personality. So I grabbed some of these dollar store dowels and decided I would put a fluted pattern around the outside of this vase. The first thing I had to do was measure the outside of the container so that I knew what size I had to cut all of my dowels down to. 
Then I attached a block to the side of my saw exactly that distance away from the blade so that I would be able to easily cut each dowel without measuring every single one. Once my block was in place and clamped down, I was able to cut the dowels one at a time and I had about 8 or 9 bags of these, so just under 90 dowels to cut. Once they were all cut, I decided to stain my dowels. You could also leave them the color they already are, but I'm staining them with this flagstone stain which I will link in the description for you. Since this is going to be in your kitchen and likely will be splashed and need to be wiped down, you're going to want to put at least a couple of coats of Varathane on all of the dowels as well so that they are nicely protected. Once they're all dry, you're going to need to glue them onto the glass. I tried and experimented with a few different glues on glass and some of them really do not work that well, but this multi-grip glue worked really well. The only problem is that it takes a little bit longer to set. So what I did is glued three dowels and put them in place and then taped those in place and let them set overnight. You actually only need to leave them for about 20 minutes, but I didn't have any more time that night, so I left them till the next day. Then the next day, I continued gluing the rest on. It's much easier to glue the rest on now because you had three that were already set in place, but I used tape as I went to hold the next dowels down so that I could make sure they would stay on as I was gluing the next piece. I love how this one looked when it was done. It looks like a piece of decor on the countertop, it fits in perfectly with all of the other wood tones, and the fluted texture of it just adds so much. And plus it's functional, it holds all your utensils. So this one is definitely a win-win DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and following along as I clean out my cupboards and organize my kitchen with dollar store stuff. I really love doing dollar store videos. It's really fun for me actually to get creative in that way. So please let me know. Do not forget to add those dollar store DIY dates from the description box into your calendar. We would love to have you join us on March 20th for the next video. And we would love to see how you transform your dollar store finds. Don't forget to head over to Colleen's video and check out her dollar store projects. I know she will have done some amazing DIYs this week as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. And as always, hit the bell so you can be notified of more great DIY and home renovation videos. Thank you for watching. Can I make it?